Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So I've been shopping in B&M. In fact, I've done two trips to B&M. So if I haven't done a come shop with me, you should see that after this video. I love the stores at this time of year when they bring in all their summer and garden stuff out. I love making the garden all lovely. So a couple of the things I've got for the garden, I've got some home bits, I've got some beauty bits, so I'll get straight on into it. So I'll show you the planters that I got first because this is probably what I'm most excited about because I just love sitting in the garden. So and I like to make it look nice. These are actually for the front garden though. And they are the Rattan Fact 55 centimeter ones. These are 10 pound each. Um, they do these in light gray, dark gray, and then this dark brown. I've got like a cream sort of stone that these are gonna sit on. So I wanted something that was gonna contrast with that. So I've gone with the dark brown. These are gonna have little conifer trees in. In fact, I did buy some from B&M and they will probably end up in here. They were 15 pounds each and I went for the medium sized conifers that they do there. They do smaller ones at five, I think four or five pounds. But to be honest with you, because they're going on the front and they're going in such big containers, I didn't want them to look lost. I feel like it's so nice to just get the garden all nice and tidy. We've got an egg chair from B&M and they are also on offer as well. Um, Because one of my favorite things to do is just sit and read, especially when it starts getting warmer in the evenings. And I just want to say a massive thank you to Readly for sponsoring this part of the video. So they are subscribed description service where you can read magazines about interior design, garden, home, living, business, history. They've got loads of different things. I am currently reading a lot about history because I don't know a lot about it. So it's just a nice way for me to learn. And it's nice to be able to just sit on my phone and have something where I don't feel like I'm mindlessly scrolling. I'm actually learning something as well. I'm also enjoying the gardening content because although I've been doing gardening for a few years, I definitely still... I definitely still feel like a beginner so I am actually reading a lot of Gardener's World which I never thought I would say that but I do really love it like I said I just love making the garden all lovely and nice I've actually bought a climbing rose as well for the front garden and I cannot wait for it to grow. They were on offer at the garden centre near us and I did tell my nan I was like please stop me from buying a um like a growing rose because I don't know if I'm going to be able to like maintain it i'm not the best at keeping plants alive but because they're so cheap and they're just when i see houses they just look so beautiful and we've got like a, a bigger window at the front so i'm thinking if i could get it so that it grows over the top of that then i would be absolutely in love and i feel like it would just take the front garden to the next level so yes i'm learning a lot about gardening and i've planted my tomatoes ready for the year got my spinach growing so yes, it's helping me along the way. So yeah, if you do want to check it out, do look at the link in the description box below because I believe that's the best offer that you can get. I don't think they've got offers better than that on the website. And yeah, you get two months free and you can cancel at any time as well. So even if you're just going away and you don't want to take loads of books or magazines or anything, Readly is a good shout for you. So yeah, thank you very much Readly for sponsoring this part of the video. Now onto some other things that I got. So I'll tell you what I'm also excited about. I bought this. I don't know what you would call it actually. They call it a glass jar. I suppose that's what it is. A glass jar with a cork lid. This is only £2.50. But I just love the look of this. I like how it's just so plain and simple. And there's something, isn't there, about these kind of spherical lids that just fit in, that just make them look so modern. Um, I plan to put this in the bathroom with my earbuds in because I know you shouldn't use them, but I just don't feel clean unless I do. Um, so yes, I, I don't use them on the girls or anything, but I do really like that. And I think it's actually going to look very pretty with, um, sat on the bathroom shelves with my earbuds. In. <laughs> Talking of air builds, I'll just get them out of the way. I think these were like super cheap and there were 400 in here and like I said I just can't really be without them. I also picked up some Batiste shampoo because this was on offer. Um, I've gone for the colourful fruits one, the vibrant one. I'm hoping it smells nice. I'm sure it will. Yeah this was two pounds. I think this was 2 99 actually in BLM which is super good for a bottle this big because I feel like in boots and stuff they can be up to a fiver so yeah, I went for this one because I thought it was quite a summery scent. And obviously, with that time of year, I mean, we've had quite a few showers, actually, near us. But 
fingers crossed we start getting those warmer days again we've had a few nice ones haven't we but yeah can't wait till it's like really warm again um talking of which i've got a couple of my favorite tanning mitts so these are the double-sided ones i bought a spare one and i've got one for going on holiday as well because i cannot live without my fake tan because i'm a redhead and i don't tan naturally so i have to fake it but also of course it is better for the skin as well so in a way i think it's good that i can't tan naturally because i feel like i would be absolutely awful if i could so yeah just got those i'll be putting on the usual st Moritz. um i also picked up some of this 1001 carpet fresh pet i believe this was like one or two pounds i feel like the um rug downstairs is starting to get a little bit I feel like sometimes it, it, it smells a little bit musty. Um, of course we have a dog and she does lie on it. But also it gets a lot of wear that rug. And we've had it now since we moved in. So it must be five or six years old. And we do get the um, the Vax cleaner out on it. We borrow my husband's dad's actually. So I'm going to do that again. And then after I've done that I'm going to put a little bit of this carpet fresh on. i got the pet one. It is in a Thai orchid and passion fruit. Which I think... Is gonna smell nice anyway but yeah i just got the pet one because of course i do want it to be safe for our dotty Speaking of other cleaning products i am at that age where i do know what i like in terms of some stuff and i just don't feel like it can beat this toilet cleaner so it's the blue one it smells absolutely amazing it's pink so it's my favorite color but yeah it's got like a rose smell but a very sort of sweet one not like an old-fashioned rose I love this. In fact, if I did get it as a room scent, I definitely would have it. Picked up the Mo Help Fibre Bars. So these are cheaper than the Fibre One. I think these are, I have got the receipt actually here. So these are £1.19. And I think the Fibre One bars are like £1.89. I feel like they're really expensive. So I went for these because I do prefer the Fibre Ones because I feel like they're a little bit moist and chewy. But I also don't mind these either. And talking of garden, I got my daughter the cutest little watering can. She had a mickey mouse one that's got a hole in and bless her when she was helping me the other day it was just covering it in cold water so i got her a new one and it was like 2.99 so pretty it's pink with rainbows and just little like ladybirds and bees on it and yeah just absolutely my loved store it. still had mini eggs in so i picked one of those up it was only a pound and do you know what i don't know if i've had one i might have had one at the very start of a night with the easter chocolate was coming out but i've not had many mini egg bars <laughs> this year and then i couldn't leave my youngest daughter out so i got her this frozen plushy doll this was meant to be 12.99 but i swear it was seven pounds so yeah this was on my second one i can't find the receipt for that it's the second shopping trip that i went on um and it was so i believe it was seven pounds it it did make a noise but she's already played with it that much that the battery's already run out i don't know how to replace it but yeah she's only one and i think she's got an older sister like when my eldest was one she seemed to know what she liked do you know what i mean whereas i think my little one's a bit more laid back because she watches what her sister watches or whatever her sister plays with she wants to play with but she has taken very much a liking to frozen and she's so cute because she'll sing let it go well she'll sing like go when let it go comes on and it just oh it just absolutely melts my heart <laughs> i got one of these slotted spoons because as just i don't know if i'd actually accidentally melted it but it kind of went like it almost had like a whole bit in the handle and I was worried a little bit for hygiene reasons so I slung that away and I've been using the spaghetti spoon to serve up like vegetables and stuff uh, which is okay but if I'm doing spaghetti and vegetables or I just need two um, I got this George Wilkinson one so it was £2.50 they did have some prettier ones but the spoon wasn't as big um, and it's not going to be out or anything so I thought I'd get one with like a deep spoon so i can scoop loads of stuff up so yeah two pound fifty for that and i thought that was quite nice and these have already been opened but i picked some shreddies up whilst i was in there because i believe these were two pound seventy nine and in the supermarket a box this size is four pounds and i know it's only one pound thirty difference but i refuse to pay four pounds for cereal it's just it just feels extortionate you know unless it's something posh i would treat myself to like some posh granola or something but you know for like everyday cereal four pounds i just I just can't but we do love chocolate shreddies in this house and now i'm not a big cereal eater but i will eat shreddies warm with uh, chocolate shreddies warm 
with banana on that is just oh it's such an easy go-to breakfast and as you know we are constantly getting ill in the house so i like to have some of these tissues in obviously to keep in my handbag but i do also keep them in our side tables as well both in my daughter's rooms and also in our bedroom as well just because sometimes you just need a tissue and um, yeah i like to have them on hand and these ones are very pretty actually they're the softly brand so i think they're just they're like the bargain brand but i don't you know i'm not bothered about expensive tissues but i especially love that one with the gray and the white flower it's very pretty i think that one will be good in my handbag i also got some of these milka bars and to be honest with you i shouldn't really have picked these up i was just totally drawn in i do love milk chocolate and i hadn't seen these before um why i shouldn't have bought them is because we've got so much easter egg chocolate my girl's got so many eggs i feel like it's going to take us all year to get down them but these are handy because they come individually wrapped so if you do school lunch boxes or anything or even if you go to work and you just need like something to grab on the go then these would be good for that my hubby does love these soba noodles and he got the big ones i'm not sure how expensive the big ones are i don't think they're on this receipt no they're not um yeah i'm not sure how that's a lot actually it's this one oh that's, that's a new lot receipt yeah i'm not sure how big i'm not sure how expensive the big ones are but i would say they are the best sort of instant noodle um i feel like they taste i was gonna say taste the most fresh which i know sounds weird because it's a dried noodle pot but in comparison to like pot noodle which i'm not slating by the way because i do like pot noodle and then the other sort of chicken noodles that you get soba for me definitely and my hubby come out on top i also got some more of my favorite fairy so i'm so happy now they're doing this bottle with the different scents um, I do like the red one, the pomegranate, the best. I've actually bought this for upstairs though, not for downstairs. So um, with having two little ones, especially the youngest, now that she, you know, she's really feeding herself, she's very hands-on with her food. She does often get it down her, even with a bib on, like sometimes, well, often, her sleeves will end up in it or just like at the very top where the bib hasn't caught it and I actually find fairy the best at getting food off compared to any other like stain remover um so I've used Vanish I've used the Dr Beckman one and I just find this the most effective this with a little bit of water scrub it and I just feel like it comes out so much easier um and of course it's very gentle so I'm not well, of course they go in the wash anyway but yeah i just like the fact that it's very gentle as well we just cannot keep on top with the washing of the water bottles in this house so i got my eldest another one this was three pounds i think this is really cute she will like it because it's very much like mine that she likes to steal my squash from it's one of the straw ones but i must say she's like me we both struggle to drink we kind of remind each other through the day um, whereas my youngest she will get through and I'm not joking you'll get through three of these um before lunchtime I uh, I don't know where she gets it from it must be her dad because it's certainly not from me how quickly she can drink okay my husband couldn't resist these so these are the Rubicon sparkling so these do taste like mango so we have already had some of these and there's a couple in the fridge and yeah they taste so nice so I don't we do of course get takeaway don't but I begrudge paying the takeaway prices for drinks so i do like to have fizzy in the house so he really likes rubicon i absolutely love pepsi max i find it so do you know quenching i just yeah i love it i know it's not the healthiest thing but sometimes as well if i'm feeling like some chocolate like something sweet after i've already had lots of food and i know that i'm just it's like a greedy sense that I want the chocolate. I do find having a Pepsi Max or something fizzy takes the edge off. Another one of these big sober, no sober noodles. Oh, I couldn't talk then. Um, this is in the teriyaki one. In the wok style. So yeah, great for lunch if you like a quick and easy lunch. Do you know, on the go again, because I'm really bad actually at the moment. Because I'm mainly in the office two days a week. I always forget to put lunch up. So just having those in the cupboard is can and has been a lifesaver for me like i ended up spending like five pound on lunch which is okay but when it's like 10 pound a week and if i have breakfast oh it could be like 15 pound a week and it's just you know money just disappears doesn't it 
And then I did a pop into home bargains because my eldest is going to her best friend's birthday party from nursery tomorrow and I thought I'd best just go and get something nice for her. So the first item that I picked up was this and you'll recognise this because I got my eldest this from Home Bargains for Easter and to be honest with you it's such good quality for the price so this is 3 99 and it just looks so good you get 24 um, felt pens and I'll be honest with you when I bought it I thought oh these are the naff ones I like the barrel ones but they're actually decent they're actually decent felt tip pens so got her some of these headbands these were seven no these were yeah i think these are 79p they're 79p or 99p i just thought they were very cute so they've got like little glittery hearts on and this three there's like a champagne colored one a white one and a pink one along with some very pretty hair clips because she's very very girly like my daughter is and then also some little rings because i just thought they were so cute and i don't know what it is about I don't know I shouldn't say all girls but certainly like my daughter and her friends they just love like tiny little bits you know makeup jewelry coloring tiny toys I don't know it's probably because they've got small hands isn't it but yeah they don't like my daughter appreciates something smaller than something bigger if you know what I mean and then back to a couple of bits from B&M so this is the heat protectant that I use because it goes up to 230 and it's a swartz Schwarzkopf one um i'm a bit annoyed actually because i was going to buy this so that i could take the half bottle on holiday but i ended up it just took me ages to get around to going to b&m so i'm gonna have to dispense some of this into like one of the little squirty ones to take away because i never use loads of it to be fair um so yeah that's just to protect against it's curlers that i tend to use now rather than straighteners yeah people always ask me about my hair my hair is naturally curly but i do put in curls because my hair is so frizzy honestly it's like ginger candy floss um i also got some of the this aquafresh milk teeth um i got the not two one because it has the same amount of fluoride in as the elder one so i don't get like different toothpaste for like all of us i got some for us adults me and my husband and then i'll just show you like a couple of random it's because i just went shopping i also bought like a couple of um random bits from primark but like not enough to do a haul because i have got to be careful with how many clothes i'm buying because if you've seen my hauls recently i just can't stop buying them it's because i'm so excited for summer but i banned myself so anyway i bought a lip liner this was a pound and it's in a fox nude because i haven't really been wearing lip liner but i do feel like it gives my lips a little bit more shape i don't have the thickest of lips either and i do like to put this on to just kind of like emphasize them emphasize them sorry a little bit more um i also got this gorgeous looking perfume so this is a lilac haze i absolutely loved the smell of this in the shop so it's two pound fifty it's the most beautiful packaging i mean if you gifted that to somebody how gorgeous so they did have bigger bottles it was six pounds and it's eau de parfum not eau de toilette so i believe that means it's better quality will last longer on the skin um, and they had so many beautiful perfumes but this one was my favourite it just has like a very well it is lilac case a very lilac-y bite you know like a palma violet sort of smell but like not a sweet not confectionery style like perfume so I don't know how to explain it but if there is a test it in your primark please go and test it out because I think it smells absolutely gorgeous I also got some napkins because I love having napkins on the table over like kitchen roll or anything i just feel like this looks a little bit more pleasing <laughs> to the eye and yeah we have so many spillages i mean not just the girls either with me um at the table that yes they're you know for a pound i'll definitely get them and then at the final place that i went sorry i feel like this has been a little bit of an accumulative haul today and i was definitely in a lilac theme um, I went to TK Maxx because at the start of each season I do like to treat myself to a more special candle. So I did go to Marks and Spencers in for my winter candle. I am going to be honest with you, it was probably the worst quality candle that I've had, which is awful because obviously Marks and Spencers I always associate with being great quality and sort of you can buy anything from there and it will be good. But the candle didn't smell of anything, like it didn't. 
you could smell it in the jar but as soon as you started burning it you couldn't smell it i mean you got more smell out of like a home bargains or like a pound shop candle which is really disappointing so i went back to my trusty tk max i've gone for the sun and a fog brand and i've gone for french lavender now it's like a very modern take on lavender i'd say it's not like it's not an old-fashioned lavender it's very fresh it's very nice and i was totally drawn in by the actual jar that it comes in i think that is so pretty it was 9.99 and it is a two wick candle as well so it's a little bit bigger um and i find with these ones you don't have to burn them as long to get the smell but i am always so conscious because you have nappy changes and potties and things at the smell in the house i do like to have candles going particularly before guests come round and the windows are open but yeah that was everything from my shopping trips um i really do hope you like this haul don't forget to check out readly if you want a good offer remember to click in the link in the description below i've been loving it because i feel like it's been saving me just scrolling through nonsense and actually getting to read some useful information on my phone which i've been loving so yeah don't forget to check them out i hope you guys are having a lovely april and i shall see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye bye